Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, which I know you're gonna, please give it a thousand and eleven thumbs up, likes, and subscribe. And thanks to all my Patreons that have also helped financially support a portion of this channel. Very much appreciated it. Today, we are celebrating a landmark for whiskey tubers. I have hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. It's actually, I think, 1,010 as of today. Um, so we are going to be celebrating with a very special Scotch, Speyside, Craig Allocky, 23-year-old. Before we get into the review, I want to take care of a little business and some, some thank yous. Um, I've been doing this channel close to two years now, and I have 133 videos under my belt, and we finally hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. So I'm very, uh, very proud, and um, thank you so much for everybody over the last two years that have helped uh, comment, like, subscribe, and that have become Patreons. And uh, speaking of Patreons, um, there will be a new Patreon exclusive video coming out this week, and it will be reviewing the Kilcarran 8 cast strength port wood. Uh, so looking forward to that. And speaking of subscribers, I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Sid Finch. Um, Sid has and maybe is one of the most constant um, engaging subscribers to many, many um, whiskey tube channels. And he emails me and others as well with a lot of uh, detective work that he does behind the scenes that really helps a lot of us um, with some really um, in-depth information that he's very savvy at uh, procuring. So um, thank you very much, Sid Finch, for being a, a loyal subscriber and um, much appreciated and it's very, very helpful. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to some of the Whiskey Tube channels that I like. Um, and kind of my, what I look for in a whiskey tube channel, which is how I've married mine, is that I gravitate towards channels that come to some kind of conclusion, either with a score or with a comparison and offering some kind of perspective so that after you finish watching the review, you get an idea, a gauging of really how it compares to something else or what they score it at and even if your scoring system is not in, totally in line with theirs by watching them for a while um, you get an idea of of where they're at okay where their palate's at and where their their judgment lies so in no particular order um, some of the whiskey tube channels that that I enjoy watching and that I engage with and that's another thing too I look I look for channels that engage with me as well, okay, and um, and appreciate the engagement that I offer. So, um, in no particular order, I want to give a shout out to a newer channel which I've given a shout out before, the Whiskey Enthusiast, a gentleman from Turkey, does great contact content, very in depth, informative, and. Um, He's, he's really someone to keep an eye on. Fairly new, but um, his subscriber base is growing very rapidly. I think he's one of the one of the ones to keep a keep an eye out on. Um, also, uh, Peter at Whiskey is a Journey. Okay, um, and also too uh, Whiskey Malt Content. So it's actually like a play on words, like Whiskey Malcontent, but it's Whiskey Malt Content. Okay, reviews. Um, I enjoy his his content as well. Also, um, Eric at Malt Muser, uh, Sauleg, um, Phil and Deeper at the Whiskey Mystery, um, Rob at Whiskey in the Six, uh, Whiskey Straight Al, Big Al, thumbs up. Um, the husband and wife team at uh, at Multicasking, 
multi-casking, little play on words there as well. Um, they're engaging and uh, and entertaining as well. I get a, I get a kick out of them. And then we don't see too much from them, but uh, flat cap whiskey. They just made an appearance, like one of them made an appearance recently. And when the father and son, when these two get together, they are a real hoot. But it's, um, it's uh, far in between sometimes, uh, their, their reviews. But I always look forward to flat cap whiskeys. And uh, Gert at Whiskey Lovers Society, he's at about 940 subscribers right now. And he is one of the most engaging whiskey tubers out there as far as watching other people's videos and commenting on them consistently. So let's try to get Gert from <clears throat> Whiskey Lovers Society to get to that thousand uh, subscriber mark as well. He's very, very close. And then also Roy from Aquaviti. Thank you very much, Roy, for all the support and uh, that you've helped me with. And uh, Ralphie, of course, right? <laughs> and, um, and I am going to save the best for last. Shane from the channel Whiskey Lock. Um, he's great, and I have a, a connection with him, and uh, he offers great content, and he's, he's one of the, the better channels out there if you're looking for in-depth information, thorough, and, and a palette that you can trust. Um, Whiskey Lock is a great, great channel. So... Thank you, everybody, that's uh, watching today and uh, helping me celebrate in, in my celebration. <laughs> um, so this is Craig Alkey, 23-year-old, okay? Um, it's a space side. It's non-peated. comes in at 46% ABV. It's non-chill filtered, and there's no, color, there's no coloring added, no caramel coloring. It does not mention anything about coloring on the bottle or the packaging. However, if you visit their website, it's it's prominently displayed there. It's not hidden anywhere. Um, they do not add caramel coloring. Um, and Craig Alecki uses worm tub condensers, and specifically this 23-year-old, um, they say the worm tub condensers impact um, unusually strong sulfury, sulfury <laughs> flavors to its spirit. Um, and I haven't really picked up on the sulfur with the 13-year-old or the 17-year-old. However, with the 23-year-old, it is prominent, but it is very integrated. integrated okay. Um, and the bottle batch number on this bottle is 67.K a 23 67 k a 23 okay and the bottle the laser bottle code on this particular one is l 1 4 2 8 7 b 700 and then it has a little time stamp on there that says 16 dot dot 31. So if you're looking at a digital digital clock, it reads 1631. I don't really know what that number means. But I'm wondering if that L14287, if that means it was July 28th of 2014. I just recently bought this bottle. However, it's been sitting in a glass case for a long time. Um, so much so that the, the cork has even become a little compromised and a little cork dust stuck in in the rim here um, i would probably put a a better cork on this little one that's more a little snug fitting um, but even on whiskey base the last date bottling date that i can see of craig alecky 20 23 is from 2014 okay um, so that's all the information that i have on that um, this craig alecky 23 is uh, matured in first fill X bourbon and first fill X sherry. They do not tell us the percentage. Um, I'm guessing it's mostly X bourbon with a little bit of sherry, but I don't know what the ratio is. Um, I could not find that information. 
And the cost on this is at least $300 and up now. Um, it, I've seen it as high, you know, in the, well into the 300s, even hitting, pushing $400. And in the UK and in Europe, it's in some cases even over $400 for this bottle. Okay. Um, let's get into the review, shall we? Okay. This is, I, I just opened this today and I've had, this is my third small dram of it. Okay. So this is, this is um, a little more than a neck pour uh, review. Okay. Um, but this, I'm looking forward to see what happens with this in, in time. Um, see if, see how it oxidizes and, and opens up. Although it's going to be a good review here. My initial, <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect when I first opened this and I noticed that the first thing I said was, wow, and a, and a big smile came to my face. Okay, so on the nose, you're getting that musty, old, dank bookstore. And the sulfur is there, but it is integrated. Okay, but if you are sensitive to sulfur, this might not be your juice. Um, and I'm not a huge sulfur fan, okay, but um, I don't mind this at all. As a matter of fact, I find it um, inviting, okay, and, and pleasing. Okay, also, so it's a, a bit of a, it's got an earthiness to it. Roasted pineapple. Almost, almost a little bit of that rummy. Okay, if, if you if you put stick your nose in rum, that brown sugar, roasted pineapple, rummy note. There's a little bit of that here. Okay. Um, again, there's there is a little bit of sulfur in it in a good way. Um, it's not overwhelming, and there is you can tell there is a sherry influence in this, but it's not prominent. Okay, on the palate. It's got a very nice mouthfeel. Creamy. That roasted pineapple. Um, the fruitiness. There's a fruitiness that's really going to come alive with this. I think the more it oxidizes, we're going to see more of those fruits in time. A bit, uh, a bit astringent. Slightly sweet, little spearmint, <clears throat> integrated sulfur notes, a little bit of honey. And the finish, I would describe as long, um, syrupy, uh, lightly sweet. It fades into, uh, over a few minutes, it fades into like a dry chalkiness okay um, but let's give it one more try since it is the uh, my special show mm, that is very very nice the f the roasted pineapple the the red candied berry fruits and the sulfur um, a really plain, very nice, um, very, very well balanced and cohesive. Okay. Um, and on the palate too, initially, initially, um, I was getting a little bit of, uh, on the first neck pour, which is to be expected. I was getting a little alcohol, prickly, sharp note, but just with the two or three pours, that's uh, dissipated a, a lot, and it's not even really, um, really evident at all. Um, I hate to talk about money, you know, it, you know, over. Th you're not going to find this for le uh, for less than three hundred dollars a bottle now. Um, so you're you're paying for the experience, but you are getting a twenty three year old, okay, 
and that price seems to be kind of where things are kind of kind of heading um, but it also could be too because of availability i mean i don't know when the last how often they make batches of this um, so that that would be interesting um, how would i score this S initial initially um, my first impressions on this so far just from today with the bottle opening and with the neck bores um, I would say this is between a 91 a 90 and a 91 between a 90 and 91 I think it has definite potential to hit higher than that and I anticipate it's probably going to be a solid 92 um, maybe even a 93 but a solid 92 probably in time but right now um, 90 to 91 um, I'm enjoying it and I look forward to the journey with this bottle all right um, again thank you everybody um, especially the patreons that have financially su helped support this channel much appreciated if you like today's show please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and remember folks it's just whiskey so hats off to you all happy holidays and watch whiskey lock take care folks <laughs>